now at the verge of determining the title the stage couldn't be set any better for these two titans to clash ladies and gentlemen welcome to the star times uganda premier league but i'm sure that right now his royalties are not divided one bit he's uh, focused on ensuring that um, he helps vipers win uh, so that they can um, get up top on the log well, the best way to answer your critics is to put up a stellar performance. Uh, I guess that's what the coach expects out of him today. Joseph Kafumbe, a possession. Flips it forward, looking for Patrick Jonah Kakande. Kakande Jonah. Well, he'll be a real live wire and one of those that they need to keep a BDI on. Talk about players to keep a BDI on. Did get a glimpse there of uh, Yunus Jr. Center move. For some reason, just can't command a starting bath anymore at uh, Vipers. Well, I think it uh, all comes down to his uh, recent performances, not been in good form. So I don't think he can complain much about um, being on the bench. His form has not been good, so he needs to improve in that regard. Well, Milton Carissa, the captain, returns to the starting lineup today and now powering his way forward, taking on Gavin Chistomugwe. He cuts on the inside. Alan Okello wants the ball. Okello passes a shot. In the end, it was a little too tame, a little too lame. And in the end, Okello could only master a very weak shot. Yeah, but uh, that's not, not a bad move ab at all uh, from uh, Milton Kalis. I just think that um, that's where you feel that SV has got to have its wits up. Marvin Gavin has got to really work very hard to make sure that he stops uh, Milton Kalis because he's got pace to burn. And once you allow him an inch of space, he will run into it and he will punish you because he can actually score goals. And the interesting thing is that he's playing on the left side today as opposed to being on the right while Alan Okello operates uh, from the right side. So he's only going to have one plan cut inside and then strike at goal. Yeah, to Raj. It's one of those that will be looking out for Paul Mboa. It's a long delivery, whipped in, easily averted. I just don't think, I don't think that was a very good delivery from Alan Okello. And now this is a better one here, finding Milton Carissa, but he just couldn't control that. Vipers snatching at chances. Messi Villa now. Get the ball on. Ooh, brilliant sliding challenge. Had to get that right, Isamubiru. Hakim Chiwanuka was clearly on a song. I actually think that um, Isamubiru is one of the unsung heroes in Ugandan football. He's one of those players that is really very consistent, but you hardly hear anybody mention him. But I actually think that he's um, a really adept defender. Shot from distance from Joseph Kafumbe. Speculative. But at least it will count as one on target. Oh yes, uh, I think that uh, not a bad attempt at all. Because you never know the kind of uh, position that the goalkeeper is in. He could easily slip and then um, you're able to, to find that gap. Let's see. Ball played through and that's a foul and a free kick awarded. Kakande. The clearance. I keep wondering why he plays on that flank. When clearly he's uncomfortable clearing the left with side. his uh, foot. <laughs> So you think that maybe Sarah Chivande should move to the left and he moves to the right where he's probably more comfortable. Would be better suited there. So pick up here from uh, Luanga to Kakan Umalutalo. Back to Luanga. Villa knitting together some passes. Paul Mboa, right place, right time to make the interception. But then they lose the ball just in the instant after just getting it. And uh, Alan Okello not allowed any time to breathe on that ball. Semakula glides away from two markers. Sechiganda. Villa on the roll. Here's Kakande slipping it forward. Hakim Chuanuka testing out the goalkeeper. And that's a corner. Just looking back at that incident, I thought that was also again very good refereeing because uh, there was that bad challenge on uh, Kambale. He let Vipers have the advantage. They didn't get it and therefore he had to call play back. Not a very good clearance there from uh, Villa. And Vipers pick up the pieces. Okello Mboa has support up front. Hans is a shot there. Sechiganda closing down the space. So back to Okello, the ball goes. Pops it through the space. And try to get it on. Milton Carissa will fire in the shot. In the end, was just right down the center here for Jean Brady Wokoraj to pick up. Yeah, that was very good interplay coming in now from Vipers there and finding the space and opening up uh, that um, AC Villa backline. Just One think day. that maybe the goalkeeper also has got to try and get those shots once they get in to try and handle them better. Otherwise, um, you keep uh, popping the ball up like he did there. You never know what the opponent is up to and they can easily rebound. Villa didn't look very comfortable there with a lot of pressure on their back line. They'll probably be served better by making sure he doesn't get that far to the final third. 
Yeah, of course. Um, so far, you feel that they have, uh, Villa have not done badly in defence. They've not really given uh, Vipers many chances. Say for maybe the last one, two minutes where we saw Kambale peel off. I thought that that was a very good chance created. I'll bet the fact that it turned out to be offside. But still, it's a warning that um, Vipers um, are finding the gap. So Villa have got to try and make sure that um, they press that ball because that's where it starts. They've got to put pressure on uh, Alan Okelo and Anukani because that's where the creativity comes from. Let's see how this will come through. Only three teams out of the 11 that have played here against AC Villa have recorded victories. And now Milton Carissa is on a run looking to make sure that that can turn to four. Shot there. Very unselfish from the skipper to set up their marksman. But wouldn't he have been better served taking the shot himself? We will never know. Brilliant attack there from Viper Sports Club. Unfortunately, yielding note. Well, uh, the thing is that uh, he probably could have gone for the shot, but I also think that um, the angle that he was in, he probably felt that maybe his teammate was in a better position. And I think that um, for him deciding to actually give the ball uh, to his uh, teammate, that's Kambale, was not a bad idea at all. Well, they come again. Kambale now threading it forward here for Milton Carissa. He has the skills to go one-on-one. -on -one. Milton Carissa setting it up here for Alan Okello. Pops it back here, looking for his footing, squaring it out there for Mubiru. Is he onside? Referee, the flag stays down, peppers the hands of Bradley Wokorach. And teased back from Boa, who lets it fly. And Brady Wokorach is absolutely furious. Well, there seems to be some big miscommunication here between Cyrus Chivande and Arnold Odong. And just close. how to handle those wings. Yeah, exactly. And you can see that each time Alan Okello gets the ball, he definitely finds the space on the far side on either side. That means that there's some work that is supposed to be done by the fullbacks and they're not doing it. And that's why you think that uh, SC will have got to try and um, step it up. Because you see, once you play the game at a slow pace as they're doing, it allows Vipers a lot of time to set up shape and make it easy for them to defend. So that's the problem that Villa has got to try and work on. They've got to step up their tempo. They can't keep playing at such a ponderous uh, tempo. It just allows Vipers to get numbers in behind and defend against them. Long ball to so no one in particular. That was uh, preposterous to even think it would make its target. Well, it, this seems not to be the right kind of movement from the Villa players. And that's the reason why Sechiganda was you know, you know, stretching his arms out, wondering where to put the ball. Okello has support arriving on the shot. Whistles past the goalkeeper, Brady Wokorach, and past the far post and out for a goal kick. Well, I think that uh, that was another very good move by um, Alan Okello and now uh, finding um, his teammate there, Brighton Anukani. Feel that maybe he could have uh, done better. That was a very good opening. He had the space to actually pick his spot, but also try and see that uh, he tests the goalkeeper. And playing it out wide the way he did, I thought that um, they must feel disappointed. That is uh, the Vipers' uh, coaching staff. Alan Okello intercepts here against Kafumbe. Good turn from Kakande, keeping a cruise control of the ball under pressure here. And now he'll pull the trigger. In the end, doesn't have as much venom as was required. And a hefty challenge there from uh, Gavin Chizito Mugweri. And it will only serve the purpose for the referee had already blown for half time. Question will be asked on whether that should have been a penalty in the box area. I guess it's uh, more of the latter. I don't think that Arnold Odong is the kind of uh, player that uh, the coach uh, would remove at this particular time, especially when you consider the advantages that he has. He's got the size from what we are seeing. Hefty challenge, and the referee says carry on. And now Kakande will look to power his way forward. The diminutive player tries to carry the ball up front. Vipers do well enough to impede his movement and in the end managed to clear the ball away. Yeah, that was smart play from Vipers because you allow Kakande to run into your penalty area then you're probably going to bring yourselves a lot of problems. The fact that they thwarted him before he got uh, close to the penalty area was smart defending but what a run that was. Brushed off to the box area. Luanga takes no thought of it. Popped up ball comes back for the rebound. Milan able to capitalize. And that's as close as they have come so far today. Jack Komaketch just palms the ball away. The return ball can only result into a corner. 
Well, that was the best chance I think that Villa has had in this game. And um, the kind of shot that is struck there by um, Charles Ruanga brings out the first save that we've seen now from uh, Gavin, uh, or rather from uh, Jacob Cage. Good play from SC Villa there. Pick up. Hello. Gets the ball up front. Abbas Cheyune advanced position. Kakande is up front. Abbas showing too much of that ball to the defense. Now Mukundane is left behind reeling. Cut back ball. And Kakande skies it. Chance here. Lutalo puts the goalkeeper through his passes. Brilliant free kick there from Uma Lutalo. And Jack Komakech will give this young man a pay raise. Well, I'll tell you that he's a fantastic goalkeeper. No question about it. And for him to pull off that kind of save is uh, no mean feat. And that's why you think that, uh, like you just pointed out, he's the kind of player that he deserves it. Abbas, Sechiganda, Kakande with a throw pass. Abbas with a shot! Didn't have the power that was required. He's... Uh, Final we saw at the Mutesa 2 Stadium. And in the grand scheme of things, the question will be, will it be a point gained?